Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brainbean here again, back with another gaming keyboard video for you. Now today we're gonna be taking a look at the Logitech G Pro Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. And Logitech actually sent over an extra one for me to give away to one of you guys as well. And I'll have all the details on that at the end of the video. But for now, let's go ahead and check out the G Pro. Starting as always with construction and design, the Logitech G Pro is a 10 keyless mechanical gaming keyboard. The first thing I noticed when taking it out of the box is that this keyboard really gives off a feeling of quality. It's comprised of a steel backplate that the switches are mounted onto that's wrapped in a fingerprint resistant plastic top cover. Even with it being 10 keyless, it's surprisingly heavy and has very little flex when really mashing down on the keys or trying to bend the board. Now aesthetically, it's a fairly minimalistic board which I appreciate. There is an RGB enabled illuminated G logo at the top of the board. I don't particularly mind it too much because I've always personally kind of liked the look of their logo, but it is pretty bright and it can be a bit in your face. This does bring me to one minor issue I have with this board, and it's this large void space at the top of the keyboard. In addition to the illuminated logo, you also have dedicated brightness buttons and a game mode button, as well as two very large and in-your-face LED indicators. All of the dedicated buttons and indicators are RGB enabled too, which is pretty cool, but then there's just all this unused space. I would have preferred it if they would have added some dedicated media keys, or maybe just done away with these non-essential dedicated keys just to condense down the footprint of the board. In terms of lighting, the G Pro does look really good. The light pipe design of the Romer G switches make it so that the center-oriented characters on the keys are fully illuminated with bright and vibrant light. Even the keys with side etched characters look really good with no breaks in the illumination at all. The trade off here of course is that there's no ambient light spilling out from under or around the keys like you might be used to seeing with a mechanical keyboard that uses a traditional switch design. But if you're into crisp well lit keys without a lot of distracting light vomited all over the keyboard, then you'll really dig Logitech's keyboards. All right guys, so quickly I wanna take you through Logitech's G-Hub software. This is the software that actually powers the G Pro keyboard. Now at the start, you'll see here we got kind of the Logitech news. Um, you can look at the most popular gaming profiles that they currently have. And then they also have this cool little community generated uh, profile um, kind of catalog here where people can create and upload their own custom profiles and you can vote on them and download them and sort of have this little community based, uh, you know, curated set of different uh, profiles. But when we get into the actual keyboard here, we're going to start off uh, with the light sync. Now they have a bunch of different presets here we can take a look at. They've got fixed, cycle, color wave, breathing, screen sampler, starlight, audio visualizer, and echo press. And a lot of this is your pretty standard preset fare, uh, stuff we're all used to with most gaming keyboards these days. Now I wanna show you guys real quick this screen sampler because this is something new that Logitech showed me at E3 this year when they were working on it and it's a really neat concept that you can take these different highlighted areas of your screen and it'll actually mimic what's on screen onto the device. So whether it's your keyboard or the speakers that light up in the background or maybe a, a mouse or mouse pad or something like that, you can have it in real time mimic what's on the screen. So it can make for a pretty immersive uh, effect, especially if you set it up to mimic, you know, you could highlight a health bar in a certain game or something like that where it will mimic what's going on on screen. So pretty neat. Uh, we've got freestyle here um, where you can create and customize your own profiles. And then over here we've got animations, uh, which is just some preset animations. I like the lightning one, I think it's pretty neat. Um, it'll have kind of lightning streak and flash across the keyboard. Uh, Ocean Wave kind of has this like sandy color that has a blue and sort of uh, like teal color kind of wash over the keyboard and then come back out again. So a couple of neat things that I, you know I like to see that you know typically you just get the presets and you get what you get. So having three different categories and animations and that sort of thing is nice. I also like how clean and easy to use this interface is. It's very intuitive. Now moving over to the key assignments now, you can, you can create the macros. Um, in this keyboard, all the F keys can be assigned to be macros. So you can click on those here and assign that. You can also, of course, remap all of the keys, um, create macros like we talked about. Uh, and do all that stuff here on this menu. And then you can lastly change the game mode. So the, the keyboard does have the uh, game mode button up here. So you can set it to lock, you know, just the Windows key or if you want it to lock um, the function key and all that as well, this is where you'll control that. So overall, I really like the Logitech G-Hub software. It's super intuitive, very, very easy to use and user-friendly interface. 
I also like the ability to have those community curated profiles that you can download and vote on and that sort of thing is a pretty neat sort of tie-in. So overall, I think it's a good software. The G Pro is offered with Logitech's Roamer G Switch that they've developed in partnership with Omron. Now I'm sure by now most of you who are even just a little bit familiar with gaming keyboards know about this Switch since it's been around for a few years, but for those of you that might not be in the know, I'll just quickly summarize. The Romer G Switch is a proprietary mechanical switch to Logitech that feels really solid and has very little key wobble. It has a hollowed out center that houses the LEDs for really well illuminated characters. Now traditionally the Romer G was only offered in a tactile non-clicky switch, but recently Logitech has released a linear version of this switch, although it's not offered on the G Pro at this time. The Romer G Switch has an actuation force of 45 grams and an actuation distance of 1.5 millimeters. It also has a total travel distance of 3.2 millimeters and an average lifespan of 70 million keystrokes. It's a good all around switch for typing and gaming and it's especially friendly for people that are new to mechanical keyboards. And just so you guys can get an idea of how these switches sound, I'll do a quick sound test for you of the Romer G Tactile Switch on the G Pro. The keycaps on the G Pro are made of ABS plastic and they have a nice smooth texture to them. I also really like the overall shape and concave of these keycaps. The font is nice and simple and as I mentioned before, all of the keys are very well lit and all of the secondary characters are well illuminated. The underside of the board has 5 rubberized pads and rubberized 2 step extendable legs for 3 different angles of adjustment. The cable on the G Pro is removable for easy transport, and one thing I really like about it that I haven't seen before on another keyboard is that it comes with a sort of stabilizer bracket that plugs into the keyboard and helps prevent it from getting yanked out and can also protect the cable as well. It's also a really nicely braided cable too. In terms of extras, you really only get the keyboard and the cable in the box. There's no included wrist rest or keycap puller. You do get media controls via the function key, and these keys are illuminated on the sides for easy identification, but like I mentioned before, there's plenty of space at the top of this board for some dedicated media keys, so I really wish that they had added a couple. The board does have 26 key rollover, and you can turn any of the 12 F keys into a macro key in the software. Overall, the G Pro is a solidly built keyboard. The only minor negatives I can point out are the void space at the top of the board that kind of bothers me, the lack of switch options, and it is a little bit expensive at $129.99. That being said, Logitech is pretty consistent with running sales on their products, so I'm sure you can snag this board on sale for a little bit less in the future. On the positive side, the G Pro has a lot going for it with its crisp clean lighting and really good software driving it. The G Pro has a feeling of quality that isn't super common in the gaming space, and if you're looking for a solid 10 keyless gaming keyboard, you definitely owe it to yourself to give this one a good look. Well that's it for the video guys, like I mentioned before, I am going to be giving one of these away to one of my subscribers. Now all you have to do to be eligible to win that giveaway is make sure you've liked the video, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think about the G Pro, and of course make sure you're subscribed to this channel, and I will be picking a winner here in about two weeks or so that I will announce on my Twitter at Brainbean Gaming. Well that's it for the video guys, as always thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.